Hey, Mike. Yeah. Mr. Foppel, I'm here. Yes, sir. I am coming from Columbia <laughs> by way of Minnesota. Nice. <laughs> what are you doing? We're gooping. You are gooping. Got the new injectors Where's Jordan? Here? I got something really cool hey. to show Jordan. Hey. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, it has. I got something here I made I need some help with. So, but it's really cool. I'm very excited about it. <sighs> I've seen that look before. <laughs> I ran out of lures. I was going to Columbia and I looked and I'd given away all my Marlin lures and all that junk and then yeah. the stuff we went to Costa Rica. So, ah! And then I had an inspiration. Costa Rica. And, uh, uh, this is, see what is it? One piece, soft, caught mahis on it. Had a great big marlin on for a couple hours and uh, the hook broke, my, kid, uh, my grandkids fought it right to the boat. But it worked really, really well. Super, super simple. Fish one after it and I figured out the simplest way in the world. I just need a little bit of, a little tweaking on the engineering side of it. But let's, I'll pour one, I'll show you what the Yeah, concept. let's do it. Okay. Easy way to make tentacles, are you kidding? Well, you, you already figured out where we're going. I love it, yeah. let's do this. Yeah. Okay, what this, what this is, is just a mold out of, I think I used Trans 40, it's a translucent material, yep. so, so you can watch what's happening. Yeah, you can also use the plats to do that. Yep, okay, so this is just a little peg with a rivet. I'd probably be better to make this smaller, but this is just a proto, okay? Yep. So, so what I did, create yeah, I took a head like a one of the a normal head shape, just yeah. cranked it out on a mold, on a lathe, lathe. a little yep. wood lathe. And uh, what I did first, I I just cast some hard resin. Mm -hmm. um, I think I used RC3 with some uh, balloons in it. Yeah. And then I uh, uh, shaped it on the lathe, made it real nice and smooth. Yeah. And then laid it in, and then I just took uh, another piece. Uh, I had a. So you made the whole entire length? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yep. I took a, I had a tube that uh, some blue or something came in. Yeah. And I took the same material, uh, RC3 mixed with micro balloons, psh, poured it in, made a sure. nice round thing. Yeah. And then I, I laid this out and I, I took my Dremel tool and laid it at 45 degrees with a little <laughs> wheel. <And> you're like, <laughs> eek, eek. And I made these slots and so they're a little bit they're not perfectly they're, proportional, but, yeah, but, but they're this, pretty darn close. Yeah, it's a proof of concept thing. Yeah, absolutely. I and mean, I figure I'd bring it, if it works, we can have Jordan figure out a way to make it so that it's just really, really tight. But yeah. anyway, I'll show you how easy it is. Step A. Yep. Make sure that your peg is centered. Yep. And it's got to go just past there. Yeah. Huh? Then, this is going to go together, but first, yep. Yep. we're going to dust this beast a little bit. This is proof of concept, so we don't need to get too snappy on this. We good? Yeah, I got the excess. Let's get you some clamps. This backer clamp is actually made out of a piece of wormy butternut that I pulled out of the St. Croix River uh, 50 years ago. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> Using a stiffer silicone is probably gonna help for locating that center mandrel too, right? So if you, I probably would not recommend making this mold out of like a high strength three or a plat 10 because it's gonna be too soft and you're gonna compress it and then you're gonna actually yeah, yeah, cut yeah. those off. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you'd say what, like 40 yeah, minimum? Yeah, 40 is a minimum probably on doing something like this. So. 40 refers to the hardness, shore hardness. Higher the number, the harder it is. Fit in? Yeah, and then you just gotta- Loosen it a little bit? Yeah, just. And I think what we need to do will get Jordan to get this just absolutely perfect. Although, I mean, it's yes. not, not too bad. No. Okay, let's make some of this. I used Flex 20. Flex 20 is a type of a rubber. In fact, this is one of my first protos. And it's real stretchy. And it's remarkably strong. It's actually stronger than a lot of the PVCs that are being used right now. No, I don't remember the amount. That's right. We'll do like 30. Uh, let's do a little yellow dye. Want to yellow? Yeah. Got some right here. Oh, here we go. Like the rest right. of the stuff, these are one to one, so it's yep. so simple. One to one 
by weight, we put 32 in, yep. put another 32 in. If we want to crank this up to go a little bit faster, what I'd do is, uh, about if I heat this mold up, and, uh, oh, yeah. even in a microwave, you heat it up to you know just warm, and it uh, probably reduces our cure time by 50%. Yeah, absolutely. So all these materials are pretty much exothermic, so they create heat. They love that warm environment. So. I do too. <laughs> Why do you live in Minnesota then? Minnesota. 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 Well, I was kind of born there. So. Your roots? That's where my roots are. So we got about a five minute open time material. I told you I've been awesome. mixing this rubber with some of the flex materials. And uh, the flex foam sets up so quickly. It right. makes this with it, it slows it down. It's a good it, balance. It, yeah, it makes, makes a little it, more. Yeah. Yep. All can, right. Show me how you do this. All right. I dump it into just above, and I'm watching here so I can see that. You know, something I'll do really quick, you can spray this the outside of it with some mold release. I'll be just past the head. I think you mixed up almost exactly the right amount. Or maybe just a little bit too little. Oh, is there? <laughs> no, I think it's all right. Yeah, Mike, this is gelled enough. I think we can put it in the in the uh, little oven, and just to make sure that. Things don't get weird on us. I'll put a rubber band on it. Almost all these things can be accelerated by either heating the mold ahead of time or uh, putting the mold in an oven at about, I don't know, 150, 175. That feels kind of hot to me. Drum roll. Let's see the tentacle meister. It's like Christmas. It is, every time. You wanted to give me a quick trim right there? This is the fun part. Lana! No way. Oh. <laughs> oh. I love it. Oh. Where's our exacto? And look at, I mean, with the, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's nice. Yeah, yeah it actually, really produced and it, this was just the first first try so I'm excited about it fantastic yeah I love it and we can make big red October type tubes we can make little uh, small Tines, mouth tubes you right. can make any size any variation and this is tougher than soft plastic yeah and we can add Absolutely. color anything. but it feels I mean I can't believe how like yeah Make it's like, of, it's almost, it almost feels like uh, silicone. It doesn't yeah, feel yeah, like plastic. Yeah, you know, right. where plastic is kind of dead, this has a lot of memory and rebound. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. it's tough, it, it lasts.